Hi everyone, today's video is going to be all about how to tame a gerbil. So from my personal experience I feel like gerbils are fairly easy to tame. I think they are very curious animals anyway and they are interested in you and they are just very inquisitive so that's a good start because it shows that they're interested in you and they hopefully the curiosity would take over any shyness or any fear. So all you really need is your hands and some good treats. Now for treats I recommend that you have like a good treat mix including seeds like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, some nuts and you know bits of coconut I've got here, <laughs> just flaked coconut and just like healthy treats and obviously you don't want to overdo it but when you're starting out with taming it's okay to you know be a bit more generous with the food as you've got to give them something as a reward so that's just positive reinforcement really and you've just got to give them something in exchange. So I have three gerbils, three male gerbils and they all vary in terms of how tame they are. So on the first day what I suggest doing is just spending time around your gerbils, you know, not necessarily touching them or picking them up or anything, just watch them, maybe, I don't know, you can talk to them so they get used to your voice, not really necessary but, you know, whatever you think would be best and I think it's important to have your gerbils somewhere that you're always going to be walking past and just so they get used to seeing you and realising that you're not anything scary because if they're seeing you on a daily basis then they're not really going to be as scared of you so having your gerbils in your bedroom is a good idea as you're always walking past there or spending time in there so yeah I would say try and keep them somewhere that they're going to get that interaction. Scatter feed them as well then they get used to your hand bringing food they don't see you as like a whole person, they kind of just see you as a hand and I suppose an arm as well. Try moving some things around in their cage or just put your hand in the cage so they get used to you being there. Let them sniff your hand a bit, they don't really tend to bite and if they do it's not painful at all. So you should let them come up to you to receive a treat and then this is good positive reinforcement and they will understand that you are bringing them the food. So once they've got used to that, what you can do is basically just put your hand out like this and put the treat above it so they have to stand on your hand to receive the treat. Gerbils often like to run away with their food as they just feel safer doing that and they just prefer it. But what you can do is, once they've got a bit more comfortable walking on your hand and they stay there, what you should do is scoop them up from underneath. Do not grab them up from above because that mimics what a predator would do to try and get them and that will scare them. So be so careful, scoop them up from underneath. So yeah, just a gentle scoop and lift them up slightly. If they really don't like it, put them back down. If they seem okay with that, then you can start you know, letting them walk on your hand like this, just put one hand in front of the other, then they will just get used to walking on that. When they get used to that, you can go and scoop them up yourself without giving them a treat. I think it's a good idea to give them a treat once you pick them up though, just to reward them, but you don't have to wait for them to walk on your hand, you can actually go and scoop them up. I don't think you should wake your gerbils up, I think you should just wait for them to come out. So once they get super confident, you can take them out of their cage, let them run around a safe area. I mean, my gerbils have run around my room before as it is safe, there's not really anywhere they can go which is dangerous or anything, so it is a safe room. You can let them run around on the floor of a safe room or you can just get them on your lap and I think getting them on your lap is a good way to, you know, First, get them out of their cage, get them used to being somewhere else, and I always like to hand feed them on my lap. Yeah, I hope you have found this video helpful if you have got gerbils and you're struggling with taming, or just if you wanted to watch this video anyway. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!